Yeah. Is it good for you or just it's, it's healthy? It's just tasty. It's healthy. And oh, okay, I'll try it. Oh my gosh, Gucci? You want to go yeah, this is a real Gucci store. Yeah, so even during war, you can get whatever you need. I think you need those. <laughs> About the, the street, yeah. So it's right off of Kashadi, which is the main boulevard. Uh huh. We notice here the blocks off the of the cars that can park here. Why? So technically, no cars were allowed. Yeah. But if you had like a S class, or like, you know, as you can see, you know, literally the regular. Right yeah. Park it. So this just looks cool in, in uh, war. They put a flag here. Oh. Just small percentage of people. Oh. Not dying from a bomb, <laughs> and how this war will end soon. And Guys, I'm meeting a fellow YouTuber here at Dot Coffee. So, okay, let's head in. Let's do the black black bread. Not the white bread. The black bread. So. Uh, in Ukrainian, thank you is the Akuyu. Oh. If you learn nothing else, yeah. they'll be so happy if you could just say this one word. Okay. Say it again. Diakuyu. Diakuyu. Yeah. And also <laughs> Okay, I want. Can I have this? is this? chicken. Yeah, yeah, like okay. chicken. Thank you. Okay. How do you say it? Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Dia. Dia. Kuyu. Dia Kuyu. She didn't hear me. <laughs> Grandma juice. Is it sweet? It, it's not very. It's sweet, but it's not like. It's not Too like sweet. sweet. But it's like uh, it's like prune, almost like a prune juice, like um. Prune juice. Yeah. Is it good for you or is it just? It's, it's healthy. It's just tasty. It's healthy. And oh, okay, I'll try it then. Yeah. You don't want it, yeah. You normally only have it at like your grandma's house. Very cool. Okay. Let's balance. Oh my gosh, Gucci? No. Yeah, this is a real Gucci store. Oh wow. Yeah, so even during war, you can get whatever you need. Get a scarf or get a beanie or something. 50%. Is that real? No, I think it's a, it's a legitimate Gucci store. Really? Yeah. Some kicks. Boots with the fur. <coughs> so cool. You would not expect this. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, this is definitely one side of Ukraine. You'll see. Uh, yeah. Indians. For sure. Really uh, cool. Oh. Yeah, these are. 11 and a half, I'm gonna have to get them. <laughs> I think you need those. Yes. You need those. Okay. Well, I'm happy it's not my size. It's, it's not. No. <laughs> they, they are cool though. They're super cool. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, what is interesting about this, this street? Yeah. So, it's right off of Kashadi, which is the main. Boulevard. Uh -huh. We notice here they're blocked off the to road traffic. Yes. And if you look at the signs uh, up here, yeah, it's, it's actually a no parking zone. This whole street. Okay. So before the war, yeah, you're not allowed to even drive in here or park here. Yeah. But there was always cars. Okay. But they were real specific <laughs> on the cars that could park here. Why? So technically, no cars were allowed. Yeah. But if you had like a S class or like a, 
you know, like a, a nice Porsche or something, you know? Mm -hmm. You could, you could, and if you were shopping here, you yeah. could park here as long as you want, nobody cared. Really? But as soon as you came in with like a Camry or something, oh. uh, they would just tow it. Wow, that's discrimination. Yeah. A little bit. But yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it was kind of, it's like kind of cool. Interesting. It's in the kid's place? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're asking us if we want to get some uh, <laughs> some pigeon action. No. But uh, yeah, so this is the most famous thing, you know. I mean, you can see it here, like the newscasters. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be showing Maidan. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the real Maidan's on this side. Like, if you tell a local, yeah. meet me at Maidan. Yeah. They're gonna stand on that side of the street because <laughs> that's where like the real kind of meeting spot is. Yeah. This just looks cool in, in, uh, in photos because you have the big statue. Right. That is so funny. Yeah. And what is that? So An that angel? is their statue of you know, liberty almost. I mean, okay. not, not statue of liberty. It's like the freak, one of the yeah. statues. No, thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, cool. No, thank you. Yeah. There's minions everywhere. What? What's with that? Just because it's the no, color? It's, al it's always been here. Like before the war, oh. this was like a very touristy area, like the pigeons and stuff. But those, yeah. those, I don't want to find that. <laughs> Putin. Yeah. Just here? Just now? No. So, anyone who has a family member or friend, yeah, who lost a life yeah. in the war, they put a flag here. Oh. So that's just a small percentage of the people who lost their lives. Okay. And actually, even a lot of foreigners. Like uh, this little sign here. Yeah. The, Foreigners killed by up, Putin. You know. a and this is now. Like this is in just this dur war. during this war, yeah. Oh, wow. You guys. I'm back in my room. Uh, I just got finished hanging out with Johnny. Um, and it was super nice to meet him. Uh, he's living here in the Ukraine. And um, he's from America though. He's American who moved to the Ukraine a few years ago. And yeah, it was super cool to get his perspective on everything about what's going on. He told me that uh, Ukraine is still very much in war, uh, it's very much in the thick of the war, um, every day people are kind of just living in the moment though, like, you know, they're just kind of living in the moment, taking it day by day, which is really cool, you know, that it hasn't stopped the Ukraine, they're still going about their lives and, you know, just trying to keep going on about life without you know life hasn't come to a halt here and people are still just like i said just living their everyday lives kiev is a target so everyone knows that at any moment anything could pop off and um there's shelters everywhere if if anything does pop off but other than that um just trying to go about life as normal which i think is super cool I went to this place called Dot, and it's honestly the best matcha I've ever had in my life. Like, I don't want to finish it. I've had four matchas since being in here. I love the Ukraine because every so couple of feet, there's like a little coffee shop, and they have matchas, which is my favorite drink. I don't drink coffee, so. Yeah, I'm going to get this video up, actually. I just want to say that um i'm not a journalist but i love to travel traveler i'm not a journalist i'm just a traveler who loves to my traveling has no boundaries i might be in paris i might be in uh, dubai i might be in some of the what people consider normal places to travel and i might be in the ukraine sometimes it's just how i travel i don't have any limitations to what I do and Ukraine really interested me right now I really wanted to come here and see what stuff is like I wanted to talk to people I wanted to see things for myself and um, it was on my radar and yeah and I think it's super cool um, 
to be here right now just because Ukrainian people are so strong and it hasn't broken this country and um, people are strong, people here are brave, people here keep it pushing and they're fighting back and they're not letting anything stop them which I think is amazing and on top of all that they're the sweet like Ukrainian people are just the sweetest kindest people they're so sweet and kind like everybody every car that I get into every taxi they're like hi how are you um, no one blinks twice at me nobody acknowledges that I'm not Ukrainian no one stares Everyone treats me like 100% normal, a human being, because I, I mean, I am. Um, it's just amazing. People here are so sweet, so sweet. It's clean. I love clean cities. It's the one thing that pisses, that I don't like is when a city is not clean. No, the city is clean. The architecture is beautiful. It's white right now. It's, you know, snowy, but it's... It's not annoying, people are calm, people are respectful, everyone seems to be at peace here in Kyiv. Um, and people are keeping it pushing and I, I'm honored to be here actually and to be able to witness this time and yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, I don't know, I really don't. Um, I might stay a few more days, I might leave soon, we'll see, we'll see what happens. When the war started, Ukraine blew up the bridges that connected to Kyiv. So Kyiv had some bridges that connected it to the other parts of Ukraine and farms surrounding those bridges. And to prevent Russia from like taking over. Oh my God, it's full on snowing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's a white Christmas. To prevent Russia from taking over completely here, Kyiv blew up the bridges that led here. There was a couple bridges connecting and then they, f uh, Ukraine flooded the farms, making Kyiv an island so that it's harder to attack which I think is wow. Wow, 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 wow. So at the moment, they're just fighting back, pushing back, and I hope this war will end soon and there will be some kind of peace between Russia and Ukraine. I really hope that. And um, yeah, I am happy I decided to come here. Um, I had a feeling that I was gonna like it and that everything was gonna be fine um, as far as me not dying from a bomb <laughs> and yeah like I said anything can happen at any moment in any time anywhere in the world it's just surreal being here right now and I really like it working with today the weather I actually don't mind the weather at all I have a couple things to do today there's this place I want to eat that looks so delicious um, and yeah we're just gonna see what the day brings you know I was only supposed to be here for two days and I've been here for four so yeah I really like it here I'm gonna try and go to the nail salon Keep getting drivers and then they keep not coming. Oh, we got one. Everyone here is so nice. Like, you know, if you get an Uber and you're in the States, 
the Uber is not like the nicest, usually not the nicest person in the world. Every single time I get a taxi here, they turn around and they ask me how I'm doing. They say hi. They ask me if I'm comfortable. They're smiling at me. So sweet. People here are just the sweetest people ever. So yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to do today. And I want to go back to Dots. That matcha latte. And that was the best matcha latte I've ever had in my life. Who would have thought that? He's four minutes away. Next here. And uh, I'm going to also maybe get my nails done. I don't know. I kind of go through phases where I want my nails done. And then I don't want them done. I want them to be nothing. And then sometimes I want really, really long nails. And then sometimes I want uh, just my nails painted like i don't know it's always different but right now i kind of want my nails done but i might wait till i leave i don't know we'll see he's taking a long time to get around here you guys i was told about this place that i need to come eat here it's so cute look at it it's like a bookstore style vegan slash vegetarian place looks really good oh the stuff online looked really good <laughs> chia with semolina meal vegan cheese scramble hamburger with sweet potato fries oh my gosh this place is everything look at the drink list, I have a lot of ginger options. Ginger, lemon juice. Oh, elderberry, that's good for when you are for immune. First thing I got was this um, avocado, sweet potato kind of salad thing. It looks delicious. And I love the atmosphere in here, you guys. It's so cozy. I love it. I might come back here tomorrow. <laughs> this is Ukrainian honey. Oh my gosh. Um, this honey is amazing. Taste that. I feel so sweaty. 